and girls. My name is Ms. K and I am a teacher at the International School of Shoifat, Erbil. And guess what we will be doing today? That's right, we will be doing story time. Are you excited? I know I am. Can you guess what we'll be reading today? Ta-da! Right. So from looking at the picture, what do you think the story is about? Hmm, can you guess? Maybe the title will give us some clues. Let's see. Class 2 at the zoo. This was written by Julia Jarman and illustrated by Lynn Chapman. Now the title says something about the zoo. Can you think of any animals that you can find in the zoo? What animals can you think of? All right, let's begin. On the day class two went to the zoo, they saw a koala kissing a kangaroo. They saw a giraffe having a laugh. Look at the silly giraffe, guys. They didn't see the anaconda. Do you know what an anaconda is? Well, an anaconda is a very, very big snake. Can you see where the anaconda is in the picture? They heard teachers say, we must keep together. Don't wander off and watch the weather. They saw parrots squabbling in the sky, but they didn't see. The anaconda sigh and open one eye to spy on class two as they walked round the zoo. They saw hippos hopping in the mud. They saw monkeys eating chocolate pudge, but they didn't see the anaconda ponder. Uh-oh, what's the anaconda going to do? Then slide from the water and start to wander. After class two, on their trip round the zoo, some of them walking two by two. They saw spotty cheetahs running a mile. They saw two gorillas jumping a stile. But they failed to see that huge reptile. Open his jaws and swallow Kyle. They didn't see that giant snake. Make a meal of James and Jake. They didn't see that twisty beast. Add Diana to his feast. They didn't see that greedy eater. Gulp down Gertie and Anita. And it was creeping up on class two's teacher when Molly turned and saw the creature. Can you guys see Molly? Who do you think is Molly? Look out, she cried. Alas, too late. Teacher was gone and so was Kate. Well, most of Kate. So Molly was quick. She grabbed hold of a sturdy stick. Without a single moment's pause, she stuck it between the monster's jaws. Come on, she urged the rest of class two as she grabbed Kate's feet. To the rescue! The rest of class two all heaved and tugged till Kate popped out like a rubber plug. Then out came teacher and Gertie, and Anita, and Diana, and Jake, and James, and Kyle. He smiled as wide as a crocodile. Then a boy they didn't know. Thank you, he said. My name is Joe. Phew, said class two as they fled from the zoo. Let this be a terrible warning for you. When you go on a safari or visit a zoo, keep your eyes open whatever you do. Watch out for the snake lying low in the lake. And if you see the anaconda, open an eye and start to wonder. 
don't even for a second ponder. Run! Oh guys, that's the end of our story. But don't worry, because there'll be more stories coming soon. Bye!